All right, welcome back. We're going to peer through this hole in the wall. In the beginning was the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. Report. The it's military very establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Good. Mademoiselle? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executive to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. Professor, where is the broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These are the Templars? Must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of the Fomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pegram. Pegram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results, not petty bickering, not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword manuscript or no. We have already found another element actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. 
Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I fear so. It's a shame. Klasner was a good operative. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princess of this world! Wow! And down we go. Not much to do here. Just basically, we can put the tripod onto here. Oh, okay, we'll have to click. In on the middle this. of the circle was a stump of stone, <coughs> a shaft of daylight from the world above, lancing down to touch it. Now we can put the tripod on there. The tripod's feet fitted neatly into the notches on the top of the stump. The, gem the light top. falling from above struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays. And each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the left, I could read M A R I B. Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. And then that's it for the.